Hi friends, I'm Logan. Welcome to Church at Home. I am so glad you're with us today because we're learning all about the purposes God made for us. A purpose is what something is made to do. When God made you, he had a plan for you. Isn't that cool? One of the things God made for you to do is belong to his family. That reminds me of our big idea. I was made to belong to God's family. You ready to say that? Repeat that after me. I was made to belong to God's family. Awesome job. You can belong to God's family by believing in Jesus and loving him. And you can show other people you belong to God's family too. And you know what? One great way to tell Jesus we love him and believe in him is through singing to him. So let's sing a song called The Good News. So stand up with me and let's dance and let's sing for God. Let me see you guys bouncing around. This song is called The Good News. You guys, Jesus told us that he loves us so much and he said that we should love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, and mind. So we're gonna sing that out right now. Here we go. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. A second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself.
That was so fun. You guys sounded amazing. God made us to love him and other people. One way we can do that is by choosing to belong to God's family by becoming friends with Jesus. Now, I want to show you something that is very special. Do you know what this is? That's right, this is a Bible. The Bible is God's special book for us. It's a book that teaches us real stories about people and places from a long time ago. And there's a great story in here about a guy who chose to belong to God's family. He showed other people he was friends with Jesus too. So let's put on our thinking caps and our listening ears and let's watch this Bible story. Stories of the Bible. Jesus calls Peter. This is Jesus. Hey oh, who is the son of God and the savior of the world. Jesus grew up in Nazareth. Hey Jesus. And was baptized by John in the Jordan River. Jesus began teaching about God's love and healing people of their sickness. One day, John saw Jesus walking by and told the people around him that Jesus was the Lamb of God. One of the people standing with him was Andrew, whose brother was Simon, who would later be known as Peter. Andrew went to find his brother and said, "We have found the Christ." Whoa! Really? Come on! Simon went with Andrew and met Jesus. Uh huh. I'm Simon. Jesus looked at Simon and said, "Your name is Simon, son of John." Yes, it is. But you will be called Peter. Uh, okay. On another day, Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, and lots of people crowded around him to hear what he had to say. Oh, uh, uh hello. Well, oh, okay. Jesus noticed two empty boats, for Andrew and Peter had left them and were washing their nets. Jesus stepped into one of the boats and asked Peter to take him out into the sea. Okay. So he sat in the boat and taught the crowds from there. When he had finished speaking, he said to Peter, "Now go out where it is deeper, and let down your nets to catch some fish." Uh. But Peter said, "We worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let the nets down again." And this time their nets were so full of fish, they began to tear. Whoa! They called to some other fishermen for help. Hey, help! And soon both boats were filled with fish. When Peter realized what happened, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, "Oh Lord, please leave me. I'm such a sinful man." Jesus replied to Peter, "Don't be afraid. Come, follow me." And I will show you how to fish for people. Really? Really? And as soon as they landed, they left their nets and followed Jesus. So Simon Peter became one of Jesus's twelve disciples and followed his friend Jesus throughout his time on earth. Wow, that was an amazing story. Did you hear who became Jesus' friend in the story? His name was Peter. Peter chose to belong to God's family by following Jesus, but he didn't stop there. Peter showed other people he was in God's family by telling them about Jesus' love and his amazing miracles. You can choose to belong to God's family by following Jesus too. Belonging to God's family is a part of God's purpose for us. That reminds me of a special verse in the Bible. I'm so excited to share this with you, but oh no, it's all covered with bubbles. Can you help me pop them all so that we can see our Bible verse? Let's pop them. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble. There's a bubble. There's a bubble. There's a bubble. Wait, that's not a bubble. That's a bubble. Does everybody know what a bubble is? I don't. But I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party, people! Let's keep it going! Yay! Pop them to the left. Pop them to the right. Pop them over here and pop them by the side. That's it! All right, all right. Keep going! Yay! We're almost there. We're at the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready? Go! One, two, three. Keep going. Got 
the popo tetsu, popo tetsu, popo tetsu. Oh, oh, too many bees. <laughs> pop them over here, pop them over there, pop them on the ground, and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere. Yay! Good job popping all those bubbles, everyone. Now we can see our Bible verse. Let's read our Bible verse together. It says, and you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. Deuteronomy 6 verse 5. These words remind us that God's purpose for us is to love Him. We can do that when we choose to believe in God and belong to His family. These are words that I want you to remember. One way we can do that is by singing them. So let's sing this special Bible verse song together. Stand on up and get ready to sing and to dance to Deuteronomy 6 verse 5. This song is Deuteronomy 6 5. It's all about how we can love God with everything that we have. So you guys, I want you to sing it out with me. We're going to sing, You Must Love the Lord Your God. Let's put our hands up like this and get ready to sing. Sing that out again. Alright, let's sing Deuteronomy. Nice job, friends. Singing is such a fun way to remember these words from the Bible. These words remind us of the good news about God. He loves us so much and he wants to be our friend. God wants everyone to be a part of his family. So when we love and follow Jesus and belong to God's family, we can share his love with others too. You know what? I think I know a scuppet who can help us learn more about what it means to belong to God's family. Let's see what our scuppet friend Bestos and his friend Jerry are up to today. Let's put on our listening ears and put on our thinking caps and let's check it out. I'm Bestos, and welcome to Bestos' Toy Review, where I will tell you what I think about the toys that I found on the Amazons. Let's open the boxes and see what's inside. Oh, this is that snowman from the cold movies. What is it called again? The freezing? That's not it. Oh, let me call my friend Jerry. He knows all the things about the things. Hey, Bestos. Hello. I was wondering if you could help me with the toy. What movies is this from? Oh, that's Olaf. He's in the Frozen movie, and I think that toy has a cool purpose. A what? A purpose. It means the toy was made to do something. What this toy does? That's an Olaf shapeshifter toy. Basically, it's made so that you can arrange him in different ways. Go on, try it. Oh, oh! <laughs> he has his toes on his nose! Yep, that's funny, Vestas. Let me try something else. It's fun to put them in different ways, but you know, there's a place where everything does belong. What do you mean? 
I mean, his nose belongs on his face, and his toes belong on his feet, and it's funny to see them in different places, but that's because we know they have a place they belong. And did you know that you have a place that you belong to? Like an Olaf's foot? Ah, uh, not quite, Bestos. We were made to belong in God's family. How do we do that? Well, we can belong in God's family by believing in Jesus and loving him. And we can show that we belong to God's family by making good choices, being kind, helpful, and even loving. Oh, I would want to do that. Mr. Jerry Beans, is this how the Olaf goes? <laughs> That's close, Bestos. Just put his arm on the side and you got it. <laughs> I did it! I need to put him how he belongs. Nice, Bestos. Remember, just like the Olaf toy was made to do something, we were made for a special purpose too. We were made to belong to God's family. God wants everyone to be a part of his family. When we belong to God's family, we can welcome everyone to be a part of God's family too. Okay, it looks like you got it all figured out, Bestos, so I'll let you keep going with your show. Thanks, Jelly Beans! <laughs> it's Jerry. Okie dokie, alligators! It's time for me to rate this toy on the Bestos scales. I like this Olaf because it is soft and funny because you can put him in the silly ways. But in summer, he might melt, so I give it a pickle out of 100. And also give it the best dose, stamps of a pretty good. Okay, well today's I learned that I was made to belong to God's family. You are made to belong to God's family too. Let me be the toppings. See you next time for Bestos' toy review. Don't forget to lick and subscribe. Bye! Whoa, that Olaf shapeshifter toy was pretty awesome. And it reminds us that everything belongs somewhere and we were made to belong to God's family. It's a part of the amazing purpose God has for our life so that we can live with him forever in heaven. That's what our big idea is all about. Do you remember our big idea? Let's say it one more time together. I was made to belong to God's family. Ready? One, two, three. I was made to belong to God's family. Awesome job. Let's say a prayer together and thank God for wanting us to be part of his family. Let's put five fingers here and five fingers there and put them together for a prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for loving me. Thank you for making me for a special purpose. I can show you I love you by choosing to belong to your family, by believing in Jesus. I love you so much, and I am thankful you love me and want me to belong to your family forever. Amen. Thanks for watching Church at Home with me. I have had so much fun with you learning all about the purpose God has for us. Remember, one of the amazing purposes that God has for your life is to belong in His family. And don't forget, have a grown-up help you go to SaddlebackKids.com for some fun crafts and activities for you to learn more about belonging to God's family. And we would love to see you in person too, so check out our campus locations and come visit us. I hope you have a great week. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.